Hello, and welcome to Coleman University's ClickUp Functions in a Flash, where every episode we teach you a new piece of ClickUp's functionality. Hi, I'm Kyle Moynihan. I'll be your instructor today. I'm an MBA in international business, and I've run projects all over the world. I have two years working with ClickUp, and I've helped clients implement ClickUp across the globe. Today, we will talk about Advanced Formulas 101, understanding the basics of the Advanced Formula Editor in ClickUp's Formula Custom field. So no doubt by now you've seen the formula custom field in ClickUp and what it does in terms of basic mathematics. If we see here, we have a units field, which is a numeric field, a unit price field, which is a monetary field. And then we created a formula custom field called gross price. And in the basic formula editor, we chose our two variables, our units, cut our units field and our unit price field and the mathematical function of multiplication. And we get the multiplied product of our gross price. If we click over to the advanced formula editor, what we see is basically the same equation, just written slightly different. And so this is the basis of our understanding of how we are going to move forward with our advanced formula editor. We again have the two variables, our two different fields, and our asterisk for multiplication. So in the advanced formula editor, what you need to know is that the advanced formula editor can be used to build more complicated mathematical formulas, and it can be used to build logic beyond mathematics. So what you need to know is, well, first of all, your basic mathematical functions. Um, you need to know very importantly that parentheses are used to separate equations, statements, variables, and functions. Quotations are used to show text, and commas are used in syntactical expressions. You will see that later in our, in our future episodes that get more into depth on all of the different functions that are available in ClickUp's uh, advanced formula editor. So in this example, we see what we had previously, our units, our unit price, and our gross price. But now this time, we have a tax rate, and we want to find our net price given our gross price and our tax rate. Well, we have two problems here. The first one is that our gross price, which is a formula custom field, cannot be used as a variable in another formula custom field. That is a product limitation in ClickUp currently that formula fields are not available as variables. Our second problem as, is, as you can see here, if we were to multiply a gross price by the tax rate, all we would get is the total tax. What we actually need to find is a tax multiplier, so we can multiply gross price by the tax multiplier to get the net price. This requires two different formulas. As we can see here, and as we already saw in the previous example, units times unit price is the gross price. One plus your tax rate is your tax multiplier. So, so long as you put these two individual equations in parentheses and together in the advanced formula editor, you will be able to get the net price. And let me show you how that looks. If we come into our ClickUp and we click on net price, we will see that we have this somewhat more complicated mathematical equation where we start with an opening parenthesis and then we have units price times, I'm sorry, units times unit price. We close off that parenthesis. And then we multiply that by our tax multiplier, which is opening up a new parenthetical statement, one plus the tax rate, close that off. And that's what gives us the ability to calculate our net price. So the important thing to remember here is that even though the basic formula editor only allows for a basic two variable equation. You can use and build out more equations in your advanced formula editor using your parentheses, and therefore you are able to do some more advanced mathematics. Now, as I mentioned previously, you can build logic using the advanced formula editor beyond mathematics. So a couple things to remember that your fields are your variables, but as I mentioned previously, not all are available. For example, the custom the formula custom fields. And that functions beyond mathematical equational functions are available in your functions list on the left-hand side of your advanced formula editor underneath your variables. 
So what I'm going to use to show you this today is a simple if statement to demonstrate syntax beyond mathematics. Now, don't worry about truly understanding the if function. We have another video where we go into depth about the if function itself. But in this example, what we want to know is if the unit price is greater than $25, we want to show it as expensive. Otherwise, if it's less than $25, we want to show it as cheap. As we can see here, I have two line items, widgets and widgets two, one with a unit price of 30 and another with a unit price of 20. Here, this says expensive and here this says cheap. If we click into our uh, advanced formula editor and look at the basic if statement, we just say if the unit price is greater than 25, then show it as, as expensive, otherwise show it as cheap. And there you go, very simply, you can see how your advanced formula editor can be used to do things beyond mathematics. So that is your advanced formulas 101. For our listeners out there, if you have more questions about advanced formulas, please feel free to hit us up on comigroup.com. If you found this video useful and you're ready to take your ClickUp skills to the next level, check out the link below for Comi University or reach out for individual consulting and training for you and your organization. Thank you. Mm -hmm.